Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So excited for today's video. I'm even filming this on my YouTube day off and I'm getting this up for you guys because I know you're excited about it. I'm going to be reviewing the two newest products in Charlotte Tilbury's line, her airbrush bronzer and her newest quad to her collection for her summer collection. She does have some lipsticks coming out in a few days that I will be purchasing as well, but we're gonna be focusing on these two new beautiful products. So if you were interested in seeing my thoughts on these, seeing how I apply them and all of that good stuff, then just keep watching. We are gonna do today's video first impression style just because I got them in the mail. I just wanna put them on my face on camera. So I did obviously purchase a bronzer and then I also purchased the newest quad that is out. So I ended up purchasing the airbrush bronze look. So that includes the bronzer and the quad and these together are $102. It does save you a little bit of money. So if you are looking to buy both, get them in the bundle, 102 is still a lot but you save a few coins they have a few other sets they also have that new bronzing brush I just try not to spend money on brushes if I can help it individually the quads going to be $53 it's called the desert haze quad and then the bronzer is going to be $55 so we are going to talk about the bronzer first since I want to get some sculpting on my face so I look a little less dead. There are four shades of the bronzer which I think is really good. Not a lot of brands come out with so many colors of bronzers. There's fair, medium, tan, and deep. I purchased medium and my mom purchased tan so I do have a comparison between medium and tan for you. In the photos fair just looked way too light. I like a light bronzer so I am tempted for that one but I think based on your guys's comment most most of you, if you were around my skin tone, you also purchased medium. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that one of mine came completely shattered. I need to email customer service to have a new one sent to me, so I can't hold up and show the medium for you, which of course is mine, but luckily my mom ordered one and it came intact, so I can still hold this up and show you. So let's talk packaging. First of all, this is absolutely huge, and it's $55 because you're getting a lot of products you are getting 16 grams of product as opposed to her airbrush flawless finish powder where you're getting eight grams and just for size comparison as you can see it's huge it's bigger than the size of my head I love it. it reminds me a lot of the Marc Jacobs bronzer because that is so huge and I mean this is really beautiful I feel like she really found a way to keep her aesthetic for the brand her typical type of packaging but notch it up just a little bit but keep it cohesive within her line and just really luxe and it has a big mirror on the inside and you have the bronzer of course like I said this is a tan and this looks really really dark obviously this is not going to be the shade for me the medium shade also I must admit it does look a bit darker in person than it does online so just be aware of that so online this is described as a matte bronzer for different skin tones for the appearance of a sun-kissed glowing goddess complexion let me swatch for you the two colors they feel very very buttery smooth I believe they're supposed to be the same formula as her regular airbrush flawless finish powder which is incredible so many people love that there is a big jump between medium and tan so the medium is the top shade, tan is the bottom. I'm going to pin a comment down below. My mom, I believe she has NC42 skin. I will double check on that. I'm gonna let you guys know how the tan worked on her and also the medium, I'll have her try that out. Just for some skin tone reference, I am NC25 to 30, depending on what time of year it is, and I got medium. So anyways, enough jibber jabber. I'm going to be using my refer number five brush to apply the medium shade. I normally would go in with a fluffier brush, but since this bronzer is is scattered I don't want a big brush to pick up too much product and make a huge mess so I'm just gonna lightly tap on the part that is intact of the medium and let's get going I need to put this on my face Ooh. By the way, I did set my face. I have some of my Flawless Powder from Charlotte Tilbury on top of my La Mer foundation. I was feeling bougie today. And this color is absolutely gorgeous, you guys. It's not too dark like I had feared it would be. I'm very curious about the differences between the light and the medium, but... Ooh, this is a really pretty shade. It's very natural. It's more neutral. It's not too, too warm. It does have a warmth 
to it. It is blendable. It is not too scary pigmented. Some down the side of my nose. It does seem to have a little bit of build to it as well. All right, you guys. So as you can see, this is just a really pretty neutral color. This is the kind of bronzer that I really like. So I have a few color comparisons for you. So the top here is the Charlotte Tilbury Medium Bronzing Powder. In the middle here, I am using the Marc Jacobs Tantastic bronzer and then on the last one we have the Charlotte Tilbury film star bronzing glow It's the bronze shade from the light. So as you can see these three are very very similar It looks as though the Charlotte Tilbury is a bit lighter But I don't know if it's just because I couldn't get a good nice hard swatch because it's broken to pieces. The Film Star is definitely more cool. It has a little bit more pinkiness to it. The Marc Jacobs is a tad bit deeper. And then I feel as though this has just a touch more warmth to it. Like just a touch, but it's hard to tell because this shade is deeper. But those are the comparison of those three. Overall though, I'm really enjoying this bronzer. It's neutral with a little bit of warmth to it. So I can tell it's bronzing my face, but it still stays on the more neutral side. It blends out really beautifully over the skin and over other products. It's just a really good Charlotte Tilbury powder formula. And this color in particular is very beautiful. So let's move on to the eyeshadow. Like I said, this is the Desert Haze Quad and it is $53 and it is described as a magical matte eyeshadow palette of nude peach and smoky brown hues. A beautiful matte quad, you guys. And I love the Charlotte Tilbury matte formula, so I'm really excited about this. I know a lot of us feel like this might be a boring palette, but honestly, I am elated at this palette because these are gorgeous colors. I don't have another all matte Charlotte Tilbury quad, so I'm excited to have an all matte formula from her. These colors are really essential basic colors and these are colors that I wouldn't mind pairing with a lot of her other quads and for me I'm very excited about this quad even though it may not necessarily look like something that we need. Honestly it's an essential color story so let me swatch these for you really quick. All right you guys as expected the swatch buttery smooth. This quad is absolutely gorgeous. My expectations for this are so high. You can get these tones in the Vizzy Art Neutral Mattes palette. I mean, there's a lot of palettes that these colors can be replicated from because they are such basic shades, but honestly, you guys, tell me you don't use these types of shades all the time. I think it's great to have this option in a Charlotte Tilbury quad because her mattes are very buttery smooth. So let's see if that translates on the eyelid, though I'm sure it will. I zoomed you in so you can really see how the palette performs. I just have some Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away concealer that I'm putting all over my eyelid. I'm gonna follow along with how she has her pre-designed look. So we're gonna start off with this cream shade as the prime shade. I'm just gonna use this random Kaleidos brush and okay, this most definitely pulls darker on the skin than I had anticipated. I thought it was going to be a light cream shade, but as you can see, this actually is adding some depth to my eye. It definitely looks warmer and deeper on the eyelid. That's crazy. Was not expecting that. Instantly, just based on this lightest shade, this is going to be a medium and deep skin tone friendly palette, which is amazing. With that same brush, we're going to take the enhanced shade and I want to use this sparingly because I know it's going to be pigmented. Yep. We're going to blend this in the crease. So this quad, especially with the two shades on the right side, it's going to give you a lot of warmth. If you want it to be more cool, first of all, you need to stay away <laughs> with from this color because this is going to make your entire eye look warmth. As you can see, it's really blending itself out. Really, really pigmented. I should have used a lighter hand because this is way more orange and colorful than I wanted it to be. Next, we're going to take the smoke shade right here. I'm using one of my really great refer brushes for this. I'm going to smoke this on the outer corner. Kind of pull that into the crease a little bit. And before I get too into it, I'm gonna reapply that prime shade that we first used just to brighten this area back up a little bit. Then I'm going to use the two darker shades along my lower lash line really quickly. The last shade we're messing around with is the Define shade. I'm gonna use that as a smoky eyeliner using a refer number three brush, by the way. 
So that applied very nice. So I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be back with my final thoughts. All right guys, so I finished the rest of my makeup. I just really quickly wanna get into my thoughts about the products. So we'll start off with the bronzers. I really enjoyed the medium shade for myself and for my skin tone in case you were kind of on the fence about what shade that you wanted. I felt like when I got the medium in person, it looked kind of dark, but honestly on the skin, it translates pretty light. It's similar to Marc Jacobs' Tantastic and in the same realm as the film star bronze and glow the bronzer side for the light shade definitely a skin tone appropriate shade for me it seems that the light shade is going to be very great for fair skin tones the jump from medium to tan is a lot tan is significantly deeper than medium I feel like as if this line could have used an in-between shade I think the tan and deep shades are really awesome for deeper skin tones the formulation of these bronzers are really beautiful they blend it out very beautiful and if you want more of a kind of shiny finish definitely put a shimmery bronzer on top but I do like the base matte finish very good very beautiful powder stunning packaging and I just love how large it is I think this was a really great product as far as the quad goes desert haze again I actually really like this it's not necessarily exciting but I think it's a beautiful quad a beautiful release for summer the shades are buttery smooth they blend it out beautifully you know they aren't a unique array of colors they are colors that already exist but they are good colors just know that when you purchase this quad you are getting quality shadow you can mix these with a lot of other products you can use this as base colors for the cream shadows you can use palettes of pops with these or you can incorporate these into her already existing quads that don't have any mattes in there so I really love this I think this is a very nice addition and I'm very very happy with it I also think that this quad is very appropriate for medium to deep skin tones as well which is sometimes what her line lacks these are deeper shades they are full of pigment and they are wonderful. So that is my opinion on the new items for the Charlotte Tilbury summer release. She also has, it looks like, three shades of lipsticks coming out June 4th. I will be purchasing those because you guys know I'm a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick queen, so I'm very excited for those. So thank you guys so much for tuning into this review. I hope you found it helpful. Let me know your thoughts below on the products so that we can help each other out. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I hope you take the time to do so. I would really appreciate it. I hope you guys are continuing to stay safe and healthy and are riding this quarantine right on out. I know some states have opened back up. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.